Okay, John. Yes, sir. <laughs> would you like to taste some aphid poo? <laughs> yes, I would actually. Uh, you're okay. Yes, uh, honeydew. Honeydew, uh, think, yeah. <laughs> honey poo. Honeydew. Sorry. You got your hive tool? <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah, that's that's honeydew right there. I wonder how they came up with that name. Well, I guess Honeydew, works. I know it sounds better than it actually mm -hmm. is. Yeah, that's pretty good. You like uh, it? Yeah, I was... <laughs> <laughs> He's being polite. Yeah, I'm, This uh, is not great honey. Yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> no. So, uh, honeydew is bees collecting aphid excretion. When aphids feed on... Uh, sap or oozings, I should say, of trees or, or plants that are oozing a sweet substance, the aphids will, will feed on that and then they excrete a sweet substance and the bees actually will collect it and that's known as honeydew. You can see how dark it is. Um, I've never experienced any light honeydew. All the honeydew I've ever seen has always been dark like that. And when I lived in Oregon, we used to make it off of white oak trees. Um, I'm not positive what they make it from here in Georgia. It might be white oak trees also. Right now they're bringing in sumac also. Right. Sumac's blooming here. It's called the smooth sumac. It's what showed up in our video two videos ago. But that's that right there is honeydew. I mean, there's just no doubt about it. The flavor is just too off. It's just not good. Anyway, I, I thought you'd want to... Yeah, I know. That's all right. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's like blendable food. It's the look on his face was priceless. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's pretty wild though for being poop, you know? I mean, for being what, poop, what they get yeah. for poop, like that's crazy. Yeah, ants love it too. That video we took with the ants didn't turn out too good. Oh, that's why I'm redoing this. Oh, that's, that's wild. I had no anyway, idea until we So we're splitting bees today in case anybody wonders. We're knocking these colonies all the way down and splitting them down to two frames of brood in the bottom box they with the queen them. and then we're making a bunch of I guess three comb splits into nuke boxes, frame, frame and a half of brood with some food. And that's what we're up to today. <clears throat> rhododendron, native rhododendron in western North Carolina's blooming. And these buds are about, gosh, you know what? That's sticky. Wow, that is sticky. I never noticed that before. John, look at this. I know, that's what, yeah. they're, they're sticky. Man, it's sticky. Huh. There's one that's open right there. So is that, um... That, um, that's not the nectar, is it? Well, I don't know, honestly. Oh, man, I bet so. Yeah, that's sticky. Wow. Um, and this bush is loaded. It's all, every bush around us is loaded. So we're going to have rhododendron honey coming in probably over the next uh, 12 days or so. It's hot and dry, which is exactly what, you, is what turns rhododendron on. That's what happened with the mountain laurel. We had that little heat spell back then. Yeah. And... Uh, I'm not sure what else is blooming up here in this hollow at this time. And it's actually probably going to give us a helping hand in this instance because we're trying to draw out a lot of foundation in this bee yard behind me. We put on a lot of deeps last time we were here and uh, I drew out several foundation and now we just refilled the buckets. So that'll be four gallons of syrup going into these uh, second stories here. And if this rhododendron turns on good, that'll actually give us a helping hand. But this honey is just as nasty as uh, mountain laurel. They're in the same family. They have, have the same toxin in them. And I've made, this location's loaded with loaded, with ro 
This location is loaded with rhododendron and I've made supers of it before and had to give it back to the bees. In this case, we're actually drawing out a second story on it, so that's perfect. We won't take it from the bees, it'll just be there and there'll be double deep colonies. And I guess these were nukes about a month ago. These were five frame nukes that came in here and got put in singles, fed once, second story, fed once, and now we're feeding the second story again. So that's about, the see, it's the 22nd of June, so we're probably around 12 days to sourwood here, give or take a few. We're going through a heat spell right now. It's in the 90s every day. I'm not just real sure how sourwood's going to react to that. And uh, we got a little rain in the forecast and a little cooling spell coming up this weekend, so that might help. It's pretty dry, even though we had an inch and a half of rain about a week ago. It's really gone. We need to get a little more water in the ground before the sourwoods turn on here. Anyway, this stuff might actually give us a helping hand here, and I'm really surprised how sticky that is. I mean, my fingers just stick to it.